So we're less than a, a week away now from your bringing the squad back together for the first training session. How much are you looking forward to that? Very much so. It's been a long wait. Obviously, we had the last season cancelled due to the COVID and restrictions, and it probably wasn't as important to everybody, and, and rightly so. We had a massive pandemic on, so it's probably the right thing to do at the right time. But we've been due diligently doing our work during that process making sure we get the right players for the club. And it's been a busy few weeks as well, some, yeah. uh, some few returnees but, and some new faces as well. New faces and some old faces, some good players. Um, you know, last season with the pandemic we, we fell behind on games, we win all them games in hand and we'd go second with I think a point or two behind the lead at the time we would be fighting to get out of the league. You know, we've lost a couple this year, maybe more, and I've, I've let a few go. But we've we've replaced them with some good, good players, and some that have got some experience, some that have got loads of potential, and some that are, are ready to join the club to play their trade here. And I know if we look at, obviously we've been announced these signings over the last couple of weeks. Uh, Roy Deacon, for example, I mean, that was a... Uh, uh, one that certainly caught the imagination when that was announced and you know, that was a real coup for you to pull that one off. Yeah, I've, I've always liked Rory, he's, he's a player that I admire, you know. If you look at some of the moves that he's had, he's earned the moves. It wasn't a move that it was like a sideways move, you know, to play up in Scotland in the Premiership and, and at Sunderland there's no fluke, you know, and he's, he's come back and he's, and he's fought hard to get a regular place in the Conference National. And I've always liked him, we've always had this little bit of a bond and I've said to him one day you're going to end up playing for me and that day's now. We're happy to have him here, he's a good professional, he's a good lad and I'm sure he's going to help others here as well. Obviously you look at some of the other names like you, you know, your, your Jack Barham's of this world as well, you know, players that um, from what, you know, it's an experience that we've had having, having interviewed them, so, so keen to play here, yeah. be part of this club. We, we've got to remember that we are a big football club. Um, we're an ex-football league club, we've got fantastic support, we've got great support. I think if the support was taken to you here, to their hearts, and you can show the willingness to work hard with and without the ball, you're going to be on to a winner here. And I think it helps if you show that, especially with the support that we've got, then you know we're going to have some good, good, good times here. The players I've tried to bring, bring in, obviously, their personalities and characters have to be as important as their ability um, and they have to adhere to the fans and, and that, that's all I've tried to do. For a manager, you know, there's two points where you have to really focus and do your job. One of them is now recruitment. Recruitment's key to everything you do. And, um, you know, I've tried to assemble a squad that's going to make Maystone United Football Club a happy place to be. There's one notable thing about, again, this particular summer is that the lion's share of the players they're in now, aren't they? You know, we're not you're not adding throughout pre season and I guess again it's a good sign that people well, want to I, play for the club yeah, and yourself. Yeah, I started early. I believe there's uh, an advantage in doing that. If you if you do your business early, you know that that player is not going to be available to somebody else. And that also shows faith from the player as well that want to sign for the club and want to sign for the manager. So doing things early is a good thing. I think that we've got most of our business done quite due diligently and quickly to make sure we've got the right player in that we think is going to be right for the club. But there's still more to come. Um, and, and hopefully we'll finalise all that by the end of the next week. So in terms of, obviously, you, you, you come back for training. What's the uh, got pre first pre-season on the, on the 10th of July? What's the first few things you'll be doing in that, in that opening week in a bit? Well, obviously, we're going to... Work hard, that's the most important thing. We're going to try and get everyone used to the facilities. We're going to test their, their fitness levels early on, with and without the ball. We want them to settle down and then relax and then, and then push on. And, and we're going to try and maximise what we've got our potential to get them as fit as possible. You know, for the first couple of days, we're going to be away from our stadium. We're going to be based somewhere else doing sort of heart rate monitoring and fitness tests and stuff like that and then we're going to be back. I think on the first Saturday we welcome our supporters in as an open day which is good but we're going to be working quite hard to make sure that we maximise everything and, and get them 
to a peak level that they're going to compete at for the start of the season. It's no different to any other pre-season. I've done it loads now as a manager and as a player. You just alluded, alluded to it there. I was going to mention it. The uh, supporter open training session for supporters. You, you know, once you're keen after... It's going to be 18 months uh, yeah. before some of them have yeah. been here last time. Uh, for me, it's very important. I mean, as a player, I try to show the supporters that I cared showed the supporters that I wanted to be at a certain place. You know, my management is no different to that. You know, win, lose or draw. We've got to thank the supporters for being there and I think for them guys as well, no different to us or anyone that connected to the football club with the pandemic flying around, this is going to be a new sort of thing for them, for everybody to get out. You know, we want the interaction with the support. We want to show the supporters that as much as they're there for us, we want to be there for them. It's just a little bit of an appreciation of showing them that, you know, first open session we've got, we'd like to welcome as many supporters as possible and they can take a closer look at what we're trying to do. Nine pre-season friendlies booked. Yeah. Um, good mix there between the uh, the levels of, uh, of of the league. So you, you certainly help you in, in assembling this team and, and bringing the squad together. Generally. Yeah, we're going to play. We, we've identified teams that we want to play that are going to help our progression. We've identified teams that are going to test us. We've identified teams that we think that may not be as hard as what it should be, but it will give our players the platform to try and show us what they can do to push on to the next game. We've allocated X amount of minutes for every player. We believe in, in doing it the right way and we're going to make sure that every player gets equal amount of minutes ready for the start of the season. Ultimately, the most important thing for us is that we're ready for the first game of the season and that's what we're aiming to do. And obviously we, we will be announcing on the uh, on the website the return of George Alakobi for his third season. George, in, important uh, character for you. Yeah, George is, is someone who is very close to me. I think he's done wonderful things since being in the football club. He's an icon for many. Um, he's my club captain. I have a lot of time and a lot of respect for him and I think that when we started this journey that we said that we want to see how long it goes and how far it goes. And we're on that journey and we need to continue it and hopefully do some good things there.